Welcome to my channel, Solid Trades. Ali here. So today's video, I'm gonna be talking about four stocks that were on a rip today: CAS, MRNA, NVAX, and Roku. They were all ripping, and I'm gonna be talking about breaking it down. If you're already holding it, what to do next? Also, how could you have traded today, and what we traded in the in the chat today, and how we profited from it? All right, so let's get. Alright, so today I we traded, uh, I traded personally NVAX and Roku, and I alerted him in the chat as well. Traded Roku here. Um, so the first, the reason why I was Roku was in, uh, I traded was because if you notice, there is this really nice trend forming, and then it broke out. As soon as it broke out, I alerted in the chat here. And by the way, guys, if you're not in the chat, please make sure to be in the chat. I alerted, watch Roku for a trend line break. All right. And there it is, the trend line break and get in here. Took profits at 285 and then took profits at 286, which I also alerted in the chat here. Said took profit 85, okay? And then while I was in Roku, also alerted NVAX and I said there was NVAX was trending in 858. And the reason why was because NVAX was a part of the watch list at 858, right, right here. Right here, 8:58. I alerted that it was trending, and that was the trend. This was the trend. There it is. Okay, and then what you want to do is you want to buy here. So that's how you would day trade NVAX. And there it is. Look what happened. I got in here, took profits along the way, and then I held the final piece, took profits on the final piece here. And my Roku was took got in here, took profits here, took profits here, and then I got stopped out at the break even. Okay, because look at what it came down. Now, I want to show you the amazing opportunities we had in the market today. So first, this was a trend break here. And then once it makes this trend, if it breaks, you can take your profits and get out. Okay, because it broke the trend. Now it's going to reverse. However, let's say you miss the whole trade. Then Rook will give you another opportunity. Look at this trend. I'm going to clear this again. And here is this channel that it formed. Okay, so if it's forming this channel, once it breaks out, you can enter here and your stop loss is here. And look at this amazing opportunity that Roku gave. Okay, so this is how you can play Roku. So Roku gave three opportunities here. One, then two, and then it gave another opportunity, which was it kind of based out here. You see the support. I right, just get closer, you see the support and then it uh, resistance, then it became support. And then it made a really nice triangle pattern here. There it is. Okay, so you could have entered here in your stop loss if it comes back into a triangle and couldn't come back up and it never did. So you see how it stayed outside the triangle, even it touched it and then boom, started going up and then look, it never came. So here it is, you have three chances to trade just Roku. Okay, one trade could just make your day, right? So now look at, let's look at um, NVAX. Let's say you missed it, then the next trade was this. There's another triangle pattern. So try to focus on triangle pattern, guys. I'm telling you, this is the best and the most easiest way to trade. Again, easiest way to trade, okay? And the key is all the daily chart. Always wanna make sure you see this in the 15 minute chart here. It's always uptrending, so it has to be uptrending, okay? Then this works. And then the second one, and then MRNA. Uh, so mRNA was actually very, 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 very uh, extended. You see how extended it is, like you grabbed up and then that's why it was just really, really choppy because people were selling, then there were people were buying, then people were selling. There was a tug and war going on. Now there was this uh, trend break here. You see this, how it came down and it couldn't come back down below. So you could have entered here and your stop would be this. Because so that was a play, okay? But it was just really, really tough. So if something is tough, you don't have to play. Like I was done. I traded NEAX Roku and both were in my, ch in my chat room. I alerted it, okay? And that's it, I was done for the day. Um, make sure, I'll put the link down below. If you are not in the chat, guys, please make sure to check it out. It's free right now, I'm not charging. But once I start charging, the people who are already in the chat, I will just give them a good discount, all right? So make sure you're already in the chat. Now, the biggest one was S, uh, C A S S. It went crazy, right? However, notice it made this made this trend here. 
and once it broke out you can get in here and that's your stop okay so make sure that when you're getting in when you're making a trend in, it has to be very very visible like very very clean trend okay not this is not a trend i just want to i just want to really emphasize on this this is not a trend some people like i know a lot of people texting me and that's how they're drawing this is not a trend a trend has to be that the pivot is very very clean you see these are very clean pivots that's how you draw the trend okay and then also at the same time it has to be coming or bouncing off some support levels when it's breaking the trend so here there was this really nice support you see the pre-market support and that's what was kind of bouncing off it did not really come back all the way down i had my order sitting right here at the support level and i did not get a fill um and then it just just went crazy okay so you would have never gotten stopped out look at this amazing opportunity now let's say that you missed it so the next opportunity was this trend break here so you draw this to this okay so you top here look closely you see this how this trend drum and then then here once it breaks out and so it breaks out then you get in and look what happened right after so trend lines are amazing all right um so now let's say that if you're holding already so what are the levels for these stocks so let's just go back and let's say if you're already holding i don't know if you're holding or not but there are quite a few people holding it so these are the levels i'm going to draw so this is a very important level 775 level if it comes back down i'm going to be looking to enter here okay and then followed by this level and then followed by this level if this 11 dollar hold is going to go up to 20 bucks tomorrow i don't know i'm just i'm just saying that if it, if it does go because it's making this nice uh triangle pattern here look Okay, now it's breaking out here. If it stays above it, it's gonna go up a lot because it's a huge short squeeze. Then MRNA, uh, MRNA, I'm not gonna chase. However, I think it's gonna go up to 200. Um, what you wanna do is draw these lines. As long as this level hold 150, I think if it comes down to 150, you can buy it. Okay, if it comes down to 150 tomorrow, you can you can look up to buy for a dip buy here. Okay, and stop loss will be below at 140. And these are the levels here, right? By the way, so these are the levels here where it's gonna possibly bounce tomorrow. All right, so NBAX, the level for NBAX is this, and then this. So the, uh, this is 130 area, and then this is 137 area. So these are the levels that it's bouncing off. So once it bounced here, and then once it broke out, now it's bouncing off this level. Okay, and then the Roku, um, Roku is you want to look for this level to hold support which is 285 i think it's going to hit up and it's going to touch 300 easy tomorrow most likely it's going to touch 300 all right which is not and then it's going to maybe pull back so it goes up touches and then people sell off because that's their target target however uh if you look at the rokon daily chart it's been just uptrending it's very 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 strong so it could even break past 300 so if you're holding it keep holding i say your stop should be if you're holding long term your stop should be below 273 which is this area on the daily chart this huge green candle that breaks it's gonna probably gonna come down till here i would hold it if you're long term if you got a good average price just hold it for a long term i think it's gonna have a really nice squeeze up to 230 340 eventually so yeah that's about it guys so if you uh, if you guys like this video make sure you like and subscribe and i'm gonna be posting out real real really good videos on how they trade how to properly trade how to look for patterns and how to um you know have risk management in place like i have not had a red day in a very very long time not because i'm amazing or i'm like genius or something just because i trade trend line breaks if it breaks if it, if it doesn't work i take a small loss if it works it works it gives huge um huge benefits all right or huge huge gains so make sure you uh, join our chat it's free down below i'll put the link all right guys take care bye